So I had this crazy idea to use a hand wash as a face wash as opposed to just using it as a traditional hand wash. And I thought of wanting to do this because of the ingredients inside of the hand wash. This is the one. It's called Sunshine and Lemons. It's from Bath and Body Works. And I was really interested because it also had white tea and ginger inside. And so I'm just thinking, you know, if these things are great for your skin, why can't it be great for your face as well instead of just your hands? So this is the Gentle Foaming Hand Soap. It has aloe vera, it has vitamin E, it has white tea, and I used it for two weeks straight. This is how those two weeks went. I look a disaster. Okay, so it is March 1st. I thought it'd be perfect because I was irresponsible. I slept in my makeup last night, so this is going to be day number one of washing off all this disaster. So... This feels absolutely incredible. Like it got off all the ugly lipstick that you just saw. My face feels really, really soft. Not like a nasty squeaky clean, but like really soft. I really like this. Um, I did notice maybe just like a few particles of mascara left on my eyelashes, but I also tried not to scrub too hard near my eyes just because your eye area is really sensitive. I didn't want the ingredients to get inside my actual eye, but I wanted it to get on my eyelashes because vitamin E helps your Helps your hair grow. So, day number one was a success. Feeling it, liking it. Mm -hmm. Can y'all see it? It's wonderful. All right, see y'all for day number two. Like a disaster. Don't even ask what I have on. It's day number three. Where's my washcloth? Full crustacean, like maximum. Just maximum. Just disaster, catastrophe. I like that. Just catastrophe. any blemishes any breakouts or anything like that and I did not sleep in my makeup last night so about to wash my face for the fourth time
challenge. Today is day eight of my hand wash, hand wash, face wash challenge. I washed my face, um, I think yesterday morning and last night. I did not wash it when I woke up today. Today I just put a moisturizer on because I washed last night. So today I just put um, my toner and my moisturizer on and then I put my makeup right on. So this is the condition of my skin right now. I haven't had any breakouts. I was stressing out the other day and a bump started to form and literally once I was talking about it, it's like it minimized and went back down. Cool. I didn't put any concealer on today either. I just put on some um, CC cream toner corrector. It's like lightly tinted but it's meant to just like feed your skin so I didn't put any foundation on today and the whole purpose of this is to inspire good healthy pretty skin. So this is day number eight. Almost halfway there and I'm liking it. I'm liking it a lot. So yeah. just such a refreshing feeling and I feel like it I don't know if it's just my eyes but it brightens my complexion it's been evening out my skin tone like no other I used to have people don't believe me but I used to have the worst acne in the world like you could play connect the dots and I still have some kind of like acne scars from back then you can't really tell because they are subtle they've diminished over time pretty great I take care of my skin I do use a lot of oils and stuff but this soap is awesome. I feel like it definitely deep cleans it. It is so refreshing. It's really clean. It's like vitamin E on vitamin E because I'm just going to put my vitamin E right on, actually. So it's just... I've been using this soap every single day. Like, this has turned into a lifestyle. So it's cool that I did this challenge because I discovered a new face wash. I think it's awesome. There you go. That just feels so refreshing. It just feels so good. So refreshing. You can see it better in different lighting. I should have actually came in here first in front of this window. So you can kind of like see the condition of my skin. It is really like it's it's brightened it. It's evened out my skin tone. I love it. It's beautiful. This lighting is great right here. I love this soap. This has now become a new lifestyle for me. And I need to find more soaps like this with more ingredients like this inside of it because it's just done my skin some good. Damn. <laughs> okay. I'm just get my life together.
so I just finished day number 13 and my skin feels so amazing. I'm sure y'all can see it looks pretty great. Tomorrow's the last day, day number 14, and then I'm going to be able to speak on the results. And it's pretty cool because I feel like two weeks was a like a substantial amount of time to be able to say like, hey, this hand soap is pretty legit. So, you know, and I love Bath and Body Works. Y'all see my channel. So I'm excited for this next challenge. This is awesome. No breakouts, nothing. And I definitely see like a brightness of my tone and more like an evenness of my tone. And just like my eyebrows have just been so soft. Great challenge. In my opinion, to conclude, I would definitely continue to do this. I didn't use the entire bottle and I compared it to my Neutrogena Deep Clean. This is one that I've used. It should be in my, oh, I haven't finished editing it. I'm pretty sure it's in one of my empties videos. And I love this Neutrogena Deep Clean face wash. This one is only 6.7 ounces as compared to the hand wash, which is 8.75 ounces. So you get more bang for your buck. This actually did a really great job at not just cleaning my skin. It got off a lot of my makeup, as you saw on like day seven, eight, nine, whatever, like, I apologize I'm just gonna go ahead and apologize now like there were some days like yeah I sleep in the same shirt at night because when I shower and I go to sleep that shirt's still clean or some nights I did fall asleep in my makeup it's been a crazy life lately and I've been just like working to the point of exhaustion and lay down for like two minutes and then I'll get up and do this I'm out for like seven hours when I lie to myself so this has been a crazy two-week challenge but this has definitely stood up with taking off all my makeup getting out all that junk I didn't actually use any other soap on my face the entire two weeks that I was doing this challenge so that way you could actually see the soap in its you know full glory the um, two things that I did still do I did still moisturize with an oil every day I used apricot oil or vitamin E oil and then I also used a toner actually as soon as I washed my face so I toned and then moisturized every day um, and then I was just using this soap every day so I thought this was a great challenge I actually have another challenge that I'm gonna do next it's either between the exfoliating soap with white tea inside of it And then I also purchased a vegan soap. It was part of their Purely Clean collection, and it's the one with eucalyptus. So I'm torn between which one of those two that I want to do next. And now I know I can use this hand wash as a face wash whenever I run out of my face washes because it's just as gentle on my hands as it is on my face. So I'm so excited that it ended up working. So if y'all enjoyed this as much as I did, give it a thumbs up and let me know what your choice for my next challenge will be. And I'll see y'all in my next video. This is day number nine. So my camera died. I am about to put my apricot oil on my face. So it's feeling pretty good, pretty healthy. It looks like it's brightened a little bit and it just feels like squeaky clean. Like my pores feel really, really tight. As you see, it's like really shiny because it's really clean. So I need to put some moisturizer on my face right now. I look so janky right now explanation as to why I look like that earlier my friend had her Mac consultation thing today so that was from like 1 to 2 or something like that and then I did some errands and running around and I got home around 4 or 5 laid down just for a little bit and then accidentally took like a 5 hour nap my body was like well you're tired and then so now it's like 
it's two in the morning, about two in the morning, and I have a lot of stuff to work on. Okay, this is not about to turn into a vlog, sorry.